Hello, um, just got a quick update on my video where I said the name of God is dot dot dot. Um, so, I've had quite a few shit days actually. Um, been quite ill and, um, you know, sort of wondering what was going on and I've just sort of worked it out. <laughs> so that's good. Um, feeling much better. So I was saying the name of God is Jesus and Maria. Okay, so um, I will now <laughs> just tell you what I think is c correct and that the name of God is Jesus but it applies to both Mother and Father God. You could speculate that G is for the mother and Zeus is for the father or the other way around if you wanted to. But um, having tried that and feeling, it's, it's much better with just Jesus is the name for the one God. Both the female and the masculine parts. And it was funny, when I first sort of worked that out, I sort of... I was doing sort of G down here on this side as Mother God and Sus up here this side as Father God. But what sort of appeared straight away was this sort of X. And and that was the sign that they used to use when they were secretly talking about the name Jesus. Um so I just want to th sort of add, which I, I thought was quite interesting. So, so I've been ill and I kind of knew it was coming. And I did keep thinking about, well, I said that something's going to happen on the 30th of November. But the, this more, this sort of Jesus and Maria thing. And I was thinking, you know, I've told my son, you know, to add it into the prayer and stuff. And um, in the sense of feeling... You know, when I so when I felt that I'm oh, I'm wrong about this, it's not. That was making me feel really bad. Now, I should have kind of, and I just linked that towards me the the feeling of being wrong. Now, what had actually been resisting feeling, because the errors come out of when you resist something. So what I'd been resisting to feel was the was the years that I've been wrong and this probably goes back to my late twenties in a sense maybe even earlier when I sort of disregarded the name Jesus so I kind of thought there'd be something to feel but perhaps I wasn't up for you know the amount of bitterness in the stomach that that truth was going to cause, and um, but it was making me ill. And each each time I was thinking I was wrong about this, I was getting worse. So that was in a sense helping me to find a solution just by sitting down, shutting up, <laughs> and just getting on with it. Because yeah. often when you don't want to sit down and shut up you know, that's when you really need to. You're ironic. Okay, that'll do. Bye.